potato and vegetable polenta slice. Let's get started. So to start with you want to get yourself a pot or a pan and I'm using a non-stick pan just because it works well to actually demonstrate these videos but you can do it in a pot, pan, whatever you like. So I'm starting with one cup of polenta and I haven't turned this pan on yet just so I can stir everything through before it gets to heat. So one cup of polenta, three cups of water, next I'm adding half a cup of nutritional yeast, so again this is an optional ingredient but if you do have it on hand and you like the taste of it, do add it in because it does just add that nice cheesy savoury sort of taste to this meal. These are your base ingredients, so from here you can add any herbs, spices and seasonings that you like. I'm using 2 teaspoons of garlic powder. I also have 1 tablespoon of mixed herbs, so I'm using a mixture of dried parsley and dried basil today. You could also use fresh and use any herbs that you like. Salt and pepper to taste. Today I'm using 2 teaspoons of Celtic sea salt and half a teaspoon of white pepper. I also like a little bit of heat in my food so I'm adding about a quarter of a teaspoon of chilli flakes. Totally optional but if you do like chilli it does add a nice little bit of kick to this. Finally I'm adding two tablespoons of tahini but you could also use hummus if you have hummus on hand it tastes really delicious in this. For this mixture I've just lined a cake tin, a springform cake tin, but you can put this mixture into anything that you like. If you have a glass dish or some plastic containers, even some muffin tins work really well. But today I'm just using this cake tin and I've got two cups of steamed vegetables. Again you can use any vegetables that you like or any vegetables that you have on hand. And I'm using a mixture of broccoli cauliflower and potato. So I'm just going to pour that in here because once this mixture is cooked it will set rather quickly. So I'm just putting this into the base of the pan and then once this is heated up and cooked through I'll pour it straight over the top and let it set. So now I've got this on a medium heat. I'm just going to keep stirring this through and you'll feel that it starts to thicken up and bubble and you have to really keep an eye on it and keep stirring just to make sure it doesn't bubble over and splatter everywhere. It does have a habit of doing that. So just keep a close eye on it, keep stirring it until it starts to really thicken up. Okay, so when this turns into a, a lava puddle, <laughs> you'll have all the hot bits splattering everywhere. Make sure you keep stirring so that, that it doesn't splatter all over you because it does get very hot and turn that temperature down to a low or even turn it off and leave it over the residual heat and just keep stirring until it's a really thick consistency almost like a mashed potato a very thick mashed potato and then at that stage it's ready to pour into your container so I've probably been stirring this somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes probably about 7 minutes Okay, now that this mixture is cooked, I'm going to just pour it over the top of these vegetables. Okay, just spread it nice and evenly. Okay, now I'm going to let that set in the fridge for about 5 or 10 minutes and then I'll be cutting this up and having it for my lunch. But I do have a little bit of extra on here, which I'll have to taste. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Yum. Oh, that's so good. I can't wait for this to set. It's going to be delicious. So this has been cooling in the fridge for about 10 minutes now. And it's still quite warm, but it's reasonably firm. So I'll just take that out. 
and I do want to put this onto a nice serving plate. to slice so if you wanted to you could mix that mixture through with the vegetables um, if you want it more incorporated I like to have the vegetables sitting on top when it's turned over totally up to you how you want to mix and match that but this is going to be my lunch and I'm having it with some salad and hopefully my husband won't come and steal any of it because it's really delicious if you like today's recipe please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and let me know what you think if there's any other recipes that you'd like me to make, please leave your comment below. And don't forget you can print the recipe for this at my website, cookingwithplants.com. And also, I'd love if you could join me on Facebook at Cooking With Plants and post your photos of anything that you make. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.